said things, and and I'm talking about mystics from many different religious backgrounds. But many Christian mystics that have said things like, To realize union with God, you must let go of every idea, every concept, and every thought you have about God. And then, let go of every thought, concept, and idea you have about yourself. And in that moment, realization comes. And I was like, Kaylee asked me a question a couple nights ago. And, uh... I was talking to you, Kaylee, about um, the realization that occurred in 2010 felt like my entire being had merged with God. That I was one with the whole universe and the whole universe was one with me. It was as if I was the presence that was pervading itself all over the world and in the flower and in the sun and in every beam of the sun. And, and yet I was also the space in which all of that was taking place. And it was the most, you know, ecstatic mind, I mean, you're talking about ide an, an identity fuck, right? I mean, like, my identity, if, if ever you are going to mess up an identity, it's like, whoa, and that's the reason why some people go, go with, uh, you know, hallucinogenics and things like that to try to discover, have a spiritual experience, because it messes with their identity a bit. Um, but that, that was what was experienced. What you don't realize was the 30 years or it will however long of my trying with all my might to put an end to all my ideas and concepts and all that stuff that came before that moment. There was a lot of effort to come to that place of effortlessness. And it was in that moment as if I had thrown off thousands of pounds of baggage. I had just said, given all my cares to God and then just let go. And it was so easy because I was here and it was perfect and there was nothing else but this moment that I was in and it was effortless and I didn't need to think about it or reason or try to figure out what I was going to do next or put anything on my agenda or schedule and it wouldn't have done any good had I because I couldn't function. I was pissing my pants and rolling around on the floor. I couldn't function at all and so of course it wouldn't have done any good for me to try to put something on my schedule. And yet what I discovered at that time was I had a little home church at the time and I had resigned from pastoring and some of the people in that church had wanted to come and continue to. So we, Beth and I just opened up our basement and we started home church and just started loving on people there. And, and uh, what I discovered was that people really want information. They don't want authentic experience. They couldn't understand what was going on. And instead of sitting through it and sitting in the moment of grace with it, they just said, this is something we don't understand. And this, this is of the devil. This is of that. This is, and they just hit the door, you know. And um, that's the norm for ego. Ego wants to know. It wants knowledge. It wants information. It doesn't want to let go. How many hours... Maurice, have you put into trying to understand something to gaining more knowledge? Countless? A lot, huh? A lot of hours? A lot of time spent trying to gain more knowledge. Feeling at it, 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 it felt like it was kind of was my mind running wild. I didn't want it, but sometimes you, it, I just kind of like get carried away by a thought and go with it. Yeah. Yeah. I can say that. I, I spent uh, lots of time searching, 
studying, praying, fasting. And out of all the time spent doing those things, there were little moments here and there where I just found myself to be out of my mind. And it was those moments, whether it be five minutes or an hour, that stripped away so much from my existence and I would come out of those moments going, wow, what I thought I knew I don't know. But it was incredible how the mind would want to, because I was still very identified as the mind, not knowingly, but I was, was, would try to grab a hold of the new revelation as information. That revelation came to strip away all these layers of belief and identity. And the, the mind would go, wow, it feels so good, so liberating, so free, so full of love in this moment. And then the mind would start grabbing a hold and trying to compute and figure out what happened and what this means and grab a hold of it and make it the new information that later would have to be stripped away. The you that needs to let go, that needs to surrender, that needs to come to an end, isn't the real you. This doesn't require 30 years of processing, 50 years of study or meditation, or doesn't require anything. Just right now, here in this moment, there is grace for you, for each one of you, to realize in the here and the now what you are. Let go of what you think you are. Let go of what you believe you are. Your beliefs have caused you to fight and to war, to rage. Your beliefs have caused condemnation and judgment, self, lots of self-judgment. Your beliefs have caused fights with your partners, your lovers, children, parents, family members. And the silent observer, this pure awareness, sat right behind the scenes. And it's being called forth in the moment that you can turn that, that you can just come be in the moment with me and that's that observer comes forth, the one that's capable of, observe, of observing without identity, of seeing without identity. And it's in this place of realization that you can use the mind to obtain information and knowledge, but is never identified as it or by it. If you ever think you, if you ever find yourself thinking you know something, that is the moment you don't. Thanks for watching, guys. Go ahead and do me a favor. Subscribe to our video, like and comment whatever questions you have so that I can respond to those questions in future videos. Hope you guys have an absolutely beautiful day. Remember, you are loved and valued.